Assalamu alaikum dear students how are you i hope you all are fine by the grace of almighty allah i am also fine this is kamunar assistant teacher of english national ideal english version school day sheet dear students today i am going to take an english language class for the students of class 2 and our today's topic is lesson 2 today we will do exercise 3 and 5 from this lesson and our topic is singular and plural so let's start our class so it is uh, good to take your enjoying grammar book in front of you and all of you go to page number 8 and you will find the exercise number 3 so today we will do this exercise number 3 and this is number 5 that means page number 9 so all of you can take your book okay let's start our class Now look, this is exercise number three from lesson two, and we all know that singular means when we uh, talk about only one thing or one person. So this is singular, and when we talk about more than uh, I mean one person or one thing or one object or one animal or one bird, it is plural. So there are uh, there are some uh, exercises we need to do. Now look. Exercise number three: Complete these sentences with the plural forms of the nouns in the brackets. So there are some, uh, I mean, uh, nouns. Now we will make those nouns plural. So number one: She plucked some apple from the tree. So the word apple is in the bracket. Now look, this is singular. The noun is singular here. Now we will make it plural. and what will be the plural yes i know we all know the answer because you are very intelligent and we have done uh, our exercise number 1 before so it is apples a w p l e s we and we know that uh, we will add s because there is already e at the end of the noun so we will add only s to make it plural now we will go to number 2 Prem bought four toothbrush. Now we will make it plural. Now look at this word toothbrush, and at the end of this word, at the end of the noun, there is sh, and we know that when we find sh, we will add yes to make it plural. So it will be toothbrushes. Now look, t double o t h b r u. S H E S toothbrushes. We will add E S to make it plural. When we will, I mean, when we will find S H. Now number three, there are two tomato in the basket. Now look at the noun tomato, and we all know that we will add E S to make it plural. Tomato, potatoes, like this. Whenever you will find O, we we will add. Yes, to make it plural. So it will be tomatoes. Yes, we will add yes. Now we will go to number four, and there is the uh, in mistake in your book. So it will be she carried boxes of. Now look, C A R R I E D. The spelling is C A R R I E D B O X E S. Boxes O F O. She carried boxes of. Cherry to the market. Now we will make the word cherry plural, and we all know the rule. Uh, rule that if we find y at the end of the noun, we will drop y, and then we will add i e s to make it plural. So at first we will write c h e r r. Now we will drop y, and then we will write. I E S. So cherries. She carried boxes of cherries to the market. Now we will go to number five. I filled water in all the glass. And just like S H, if you find S or double S uh, at the end of the noun, we will add E S to make it plural. So it will be glasses. And the spelling uh, spelling of Glass G L A W S and then we will add E S to make it plural. So I fill water 
in all the glasses. Now we will go to number 6. I gave some milk to the three puppy. Now look there is a picture of three puppy, uh, uh, three puppies and we just like number 4 that means just like cherry we will make it plural that means we will drop y and we will add ies to make it plural. So p u p p i e s. I gave some milk to the three puppies. Now we will go to number 7. The butterfly look beautiful. Now look just like the previous one that means uh, puppy there is also y. So we will drop y and we will add is to make it plural. So it will be butterflies. The butterflies b u double t e r f l. Now we will drop y and we will uh, uh, write i and then we will add yes so the butterflies look beautiful now we will go to number eight he fixed two shelf on the wall now look there's two shelf so we will make the word shelf plurals and we know that if we find f we will drop f and we will add ves to make the word plural so shelf will be shelf s h e l v e s shelves so he fixed two shelves on the wall so let's read that again number one she plucked some apples from the tree number two prem bought four toothbrushes number three there are two tomatoes in the basket number four she carried boxes of cherries to the market number five i filled water in the glasses uh, in all the glasses number six i gave some milk to the three puppies number seven the butterflies look beautiful number eight he fixed two shelves on the wall now we will go to exercise number five page number nine exercise number five and now look change the nouns in the color to their singular or plural forms so in your book it is in pink color so we will change those words into either in to singular or into plural so if the word is in singular form we will change it to plural form and if the word is in the plural form we will change it to the singular form okay dear students let's do it now look the thief put the jewels in the sack the word thief is singular and it is uh, colored in your book pink color now look the word thief put the jewels in the sack the thief is singular so we will make it plural and now look at the end of the word it is f it is f so we will do it just like it like shelf so we will make this word plural like t h t h i e v e s thieves we will drop f and then we will add v e s to make it plural now look number two the kittens ran towards the gate look at this word kittens kittens is in the plural form a, a, i mean uh, s is added uh, i mean s is already uh, has been already has uh, been already added there and then we will make it i uh, mean singular word so kittens will be kitten kittens will be kitten so it will be k i double t e n the kitten ran towards the gate now look number three the bird flew towards the road and the word bird is colored and we will change it to the plural form because it is in the singular form the bird b i r d bird and we all know that we will add s to make it plural so it will be b i r d s birds usually we add s or es to make the noun plural and then number four the brushes were used to scrub the floor so now look at this word brushes b r u s h e s now look we add es to make it plural and we know that the singular form of the brushes will be brush that means we will omit es so b r u s h 
and if you want to make it plural there is sh so we will add es to make it plural now we will go to number 5 the schools in the city are closed the school in the city are closed now look at this word city so we will make it plural city is in singular form so how will you make it plural yes it's very easy we will drop y and then we will add i e s to make this word plural now we will go to number six the children played with the cups that means the baby cow the children played with the cups now look at this word cups c a l v e s now look v e s that means we need to uh, drop v e s and we will add f to make it singular so the singular form of cups is c a l f so if you want to make the word plural so we will drop f and then we will add v e s again now we will go to number seven put the toys in the box and it's very easy we know that if we find x we will add yes if you find sh sh double s or x we will draw i mean we will add yes to make those words plural so it will be boxes b o x e s so we will add yes so number one will be thieves number two will be kitten number three will be birds number four will be brush number five will be cities number six will be cup number seven will be boxes so this is exercise number five so now dear, dear students i'm going to give you a homework you will do exercise number five as your homework you will write the answer only you will write the answer only okay dear students you will do exercise number five from lesson two and you will write the answer only at first all of you will write the hw number and of course you will give a date and then you will write the lesson number uh, lesson two exercise number five and then you will put i mean uh, write those number one to seven and you will write the answer only you will write the answer only i repeat you will write the answer only you don't need to pick up the uh, pick up those sentences okay you don't need to pick up the full sentence so you will write the on uh, on i mean you will write the answer only answer so dear students all of you will do your homework and you will submit your homework on every saturday from 9 am to 3 pm in the school library so dear students all of you practice a lot and listen to your parents see you again allah peace